Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, that's giving all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon, camp down here in Tampa, Florida, and I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful like scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to go into this video uh, that one of the brothers in my camp did, the beloved brother Amawan. Um, you can start, subscribe to his channel at Works of Faith 144 about a woman who went into the, who runs into the abortion clinic, Jake woman. And uh, before I go, go any further, I want to, you know, um, speak on this edit he has here, which is from our beloved brother, uh, Daniela, our fallen soldier, you know, who uh, who recently passed away, you know, a couple couple months a couple months ago. May you hold by shall rest his soul, and he be risen up, you know, on that first go around. I'm like, they finna harass me the minute I walk up in here. Nor do I give a fuck. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna have an abortion. That's okay. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. no it's okay. I'm gonna do it regardless. No, thank you. It's okay. No, thank you. Mm -mm. The baby been swimming in Casa Migos. I gotta go. That this is not it. This is not the way. No thing. So there you go. That's Eve, man. You know, she's completely shameless. Let's grab that. These women are completely shameless, man. All right? And because of this, these women will be destroyed. Great death and destruction is coming to you wicked women. Ecclesiastes chapter 26, verse 10. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through over much liberty. And now these women have liberty to do what they want to do. They got her being harlots, you know, popping cooch. On, that, on, on, on any on any man passing by, you know, and then they end up going to get these abortions, not realizing that they're destroying their body, and you are committing um, sacrifices unto idols, you know, you're sacrificing the children of Israel unto idols, man, you know, who, whoever seed that was, which these niggas so wicked that they did, they deal with, they probably, you know, uh, to, you know, su supported it or probably didn't support it, man. All right, it says, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 26 verse 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, which what, what you, you know what a female dog is, okay, a B-I-T-C-H, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord, right, and these women that have, she's completely shameless, okay, this is why she walked up in there, you know, recording herself, knowing they was going to ask her questions, she ain't had no shame, she put it all over the internet for us to see it all over the world, you know, and this is the spirit of these so-called black women here in America, all right, completely gone. All right, let's grab this real quick in the NLT. First Timothy chapter five, verse six. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth in the NLT. It says, but the widow who lives only for pleasure is spiritually dead even while she lives. Right. So these women are spiritually dead, man, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, physically dead, too, really, because they got all they, they got nothing, nothing but a bunch of dead, you know, uh, fetal cells in, in their damn body, man. You know, they stick a tool in there, which we've done videos on this before. But they'll stick a tool up there and have you um and and it, it, it tears your body up so later on if there is a later on she's going to want to have children and she won't be able to man okay um and, and this is why a lot of these women find themselves are going to find themselves um you know um left out there in that day man you know ain't, ain't, ain't no man going to dick going to deal with your women okay let me, let me go here. Um, in part, understanding. Because it's because they, 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 she, she don't realize what, 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 what she doing. She, she thinks she being funny, think it's, think it's cute, but she gonna find out the hard way, man. And a lot of you women are gonna be in trouble when all hell does break loose, and it's about to break loose. I got a few scriptures. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out quick. It says Job chapter 39, verse uh, 13. Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, which she look like a damn peacock with the longest eyelashes and that bald ass hair on the, on the head, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich. So the Lord is likening the daughters of Zion unto, you know, damn animals. It says, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in dust and forgetteth that thy foot may crush them or that the wild 
beasts may break them. So they, so, so these women, you know, the ostrich, it, it leaves its, its eggs on, on, on the ground. While most birds put their eggs up in a nest somewhere high, far away, you know, protected. The, the, the ostrich will just leave them on the ground. And, you know, sometimes the ostrich mistakenly will step on her own eggs, you know. And that's, and that's what, he, what, what Eve has become. It says, she is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. She has no care in the world for, for, her, for that young one inside her, you know, growing inside her womb. Said the baby, or oh, the baby swimming the Casamigos. Well, guess what? In, in, in a week or two, you're going to be out there drinking your Casamigos. And, you know, that baby going to be in it, man. You know, because they put them, you know, those cells inside your food and your drinks, you know. This place is totally wicked. And that's all a part of child sacrifice. It says, um, as though they were not hers, her labor is in vain without fear. These women have no fear, man. Okay, just proud. It says, because the Most High has deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. Which is why you women are supposed to be, you know, um, put with a man, you know. You ain't supposed to be, you know, able to do what you want to do and pop whoever you want to, you know, or get popped by whoever, whoever you want to get popped by. But because of the society, which Esau gave them, that 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 liberty they are here just doing whatever they want to do how, however they want to do it we're not a care in the world now i realize that them actions are going to come back to you isaiah chapter 32 verse 9 rise up you women that are at ease these women are at ease man she walked in there proudly and and, and boastfully talking about some oh i know she's gonna come harass me and then wanted to film it man like okay whatever you want to go do you know your evil do it but you ain't got to put it on camera but they put it on camera because they have no fear they are at ease here it says, hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. I've seen videos of men boo-hoo crying outside of abortion clinics, begging their woman not to go in there and, and, and abort the baby. You know? It says, give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall you be troubled, ye careless women, for the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Right? So ain't going to be no more uh, uh, free Casamigo shots at the club. It's going to be motherfucker cr 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 cracking an empty Casamigo's body across your head and dragging you in the back alley. Okay, you're going to be screaming for help, and you're going to wish you had a man. It says, Trim you women that are at ease, be troubled. You careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your lords. The Lord's about to strip y'all, you know, from, 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 from all this um, wickedness. The Lord's going to strip y'all, man. Okay? He's going to make you bare. All right, right now, these women, they they, they living it up. You know, you can't tell them nothing. Okay? Uh, Let me see. Um... It's going to the curses, Deuteronomy 28. <clears throat> I want to knock all these out. I got to get back to work soon. So let me knock all these out before I go. It says, um, this is, um, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set her soul of her feet upon the ground for delicateness, which are, and, and tenderness. Our woman used to be delicate, used to be uh, feminine, you know, and it was a blessing to have children. You know, a hey, children are a gift from 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 the Lord. But Eve, now she wanna she wanna she 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 wanna be a hot girl summer, winter, spring, and fall. So she destroying her babies. It says her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter. This these women are have an evil eye toward their own children now, man. You know, which is totally wicked. It says and toward her young ones that cometh out from between her feet, and toward her children which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness wherewith the enemy shall distress thee in thy gates which one means when when, when 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 the siege comes these women and it happened before it's going to happen again you know these, these women are going to be eating at their own children man you know they don't really care for these children you know a lot of these women have children by all types of um different men you know and and, and they don't believe in yahweh and yahweh shy it says Leviticus chapter 18 verse 21 and thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to mole it which just is child sacrifice that's what's happening when you go into them a clinics you are allowing your son, your child to pass through the fire you know going go on, on that abortion um clinic table it says neither shalt thou profane the name of the of thy power I am Yahweh thy Yahweh all right so the Lord is against that you're not supposed to profane his name by doing that man you know, sacrificing um, pretty much Israelites, you know, his, his his children, killing his children. OK. This is um, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 25, verse 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman because women are 
super wicked. Okay, super, super wicked. All right, and they'll do all type of wicked, evil things. Um, and, 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 act like, and act like they ain't do shit. It says, Proverbs 30, verse 20, such is the way of an adulterous woman. She out there popping cooch on, the, like I said, on any and everybody that passed by, committing adultery, left and right. And then to, to justify her adultery, she goes and just aborts the baby so she can't, you know, what they say, uh, no face, no case. You know, and act like she wasn't just with this, this individual and that individual and this individual. You see? It says, she eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. So that's what these women do. You know, they go up, they they, they, they they go out here to these clubs being harlots, getting all these drinks bought for them, and then getting popped in, in the back of the club or in the bathroom or, or in the car in the parking lot, get pregnant, and then they go just abort the baby and say, I ain't do nothing wrong. <laughs> okay? So, so these are the same evil, uh, wicked women that the Lord is going to come and bring this judgment upon when, when, when this time does come, man. Okay? And you women were really... You 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 ain't being saved based off of uh how smart you are how 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 pretty you are how 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 many degrees you may have you know how how many followers on Instagram you you uh, got no you're gonna be saved in childbearing okay so you're supposed to be in order and and you were created to bear children a lot of women getting uh their, their tubes tied and shit hey listen when the time comes a lot a, a lot of women you know the women got that yab and 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 and, and now they're they're um they're not as fertile as they used to be. You know, mama say it like that. You know, you know you you're not as fertile anymore. So pretty much there's gonna be no no need for you, man. Okay, and the Lord's gonna go on and leave you out there to the wolves. It says First Timothy chapter two, verse um eleven. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in a transgression. And these women are very deceived still today in the society. They have been deceived by, by, by the serpent. You know, so when this devil, you know, do or say anything, they, they go running right, they go, they, they go running right with it. It says, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. You, you, you're only being saved to bear children, you know, okay, to bring back, you know, the, 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 the nation of Israel. Okay, the Israelite men is going to have, that's why the scripture says, seven women shall take hold of one man. Saying we eat our own bread and we're our own apparel, only let's be called by that name, which that means uh, marriage, which is sex. You know, you're going to have pregnant women going into the kingdom of heaven. But if you women out here just, just having abortions and, you know, can't handle no children, guess what? You go, you're going to be left here and you're going to have to be reborn on the other side. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in the faith and charity with holiness and sobriety, which a lot of these women ain't doing. Okay. They ain't, they ain't of a sound mind. They're going out to the clubs, you know. She said the baby, the baby swimming in Casamigos. She says, um, about, talks about you, you, you woman, indulging in that strong drink, man. You know, that's not the coming of a woman. That's not a lady. You know, that, and really, that that's just pure wickedness. All right, let's bring it back. It says, not the baby swimming in Casamigos. A pro-life practitioner tries to stop a young demon from getting an abortion right and honestly that you know the spirit of that child was probably better off you know with with with, with, with somebody else than her you know because if she gonna abort the baby and enact in that type of spirit imagine if the baby was alive you know complete wickedness man so great judgment death and destruction is coming to you evil wicked you know people and especially you women but that being said i'm gonna say shalom i'm coming to all the